Hey everyone, Shalon Winter here. As always, here's my risk disclosure. Trading futures is risky. You can lose all your money, know what you're doing before you do it. Take a moment and pause the video to read that over. All right, so today I'm going to review um, Thursday, October the 6th, okay? And there was some news that came out, but um, I'm gonna show you so if you've watched any of my trade reviews, you know that I like to look for basically um, an area of breakout, whether it breaks out of the top of the zone, bottom of the zone, and I love a breakout and then kind of a pullback to it to retest that area and then go. Um, or if it's already in a trending market, um, then I like Basically, I like to take my low risk entry, which is a pullback of the, of the trend with some good confirmations that tell me that, hey, it's going to continue in that same direction, right? So that's kind of what happened on this day. We had some news come out, 8.30, it was kind of crazy. Um, so what happens here is... You see, we have, look down here. Okay, so when I'm analyzing the market, right? You can see it's gone, gone up, right? It's gone up, did a little bit of chop here, going back up. If you see here, what did it create? You know, a stack of mini magnets, three mini magnets. That's telling me that's strong. What do we have here? Settlement, right? I have settlement, stack of three mini magnets, one of these walls here. This yellow dotted line's a gap level. We've got a lot going on, okay? <laughs> There's a lot going on. Uh, made it up here, then look, it left all of these. So just so you know too, the way I have my charts set up, these dotted, thick dotted lines here, that's mini magnets on the 30 tick chart. The thick orange is a paw on the 30 tick chart, okay? Um, the pink dotted line is a flux level, just so you know. Okay, but then here we have a gap level here, gap level here, got in the middle here, chopped around, left a ton of ZOIs. Ooh, we got some stuff going on. <laughs> so I'm waiting, okay? So let me fast forward a little bit. What's it doing now? Okay, so here I have a clear zone that's shaping up, okay? We got this bottom. It left all this here. So am I expecting this to just come down and break right through and just keep going? I'm not expecting that. I'm expecting it to come down here, test it, and then we'll see what happens from there, but maybe bounce up. And then if it does go up, what look at, I mean, just look at all this that we, that we have up here. 30 tick mini magnet, 10 tick mini, mini magnet, 30 tick Paul, Paul here on the 10 tick, ZOI, ZOI. So is it going to, in a wall right here, right? So I'm not expecting it just to run right through that either. So now I've developed kind of a, a top and a bottom, right? So, you know, top up here, bottom here. I don't really want anything in the middle. So let's see what, what's going to happen. Okay, what's going to happen here? I'm going to fast forward it. And as you can see, you know, it's kind of, it's not really that ugly. You know, it doesn't have a ton of, chop or two three bar chop it's just kind of ranging a little bit as you can see it came down went up made a lower low went up made a lower low then it the pattern kind of consolidated now it's gone back up here so now at this point what am i doing i'm just waiting okay i'm just waiting no stress just wait and see wait for it to break out of one of these for me, for, for LREs, for the low risk entry pullbacks, this is what I do. Now, if you get a Lorex short from up here, Lorex long from down here, you know, might want to take it. But I'm not taking an LRE right now, you know. Or maybe you get a Lorex, a good looking Lorex somewhere in the middle. You know, maybe that's something you take. But as most of you know, I am an LRE trader. Okay, so here we go. It does break out, break through, I should say. So let's see. So it's actually breaking through 
Okay, you see it. It's it's at the the triple magnets. Okay, now it's actually breaking through. So I'm like, oh, is it is it actually gonna go or is it gonna stall here and then go up? So now we're down to settlement. And now I'm just watching. Of course, I don't take trades around settlement, off settlement. I like to tra take trades through settlement. Uh, now this is where Simplicity Short started, which you'll see the Simplicity Short or the Simplicity Chart in a little bit. But because this, I think the Simplicity was like around this area is where the entry was. But there's no way I'm taking it through those mini magnets. But I do like to take trades through not through but to settlement um in this case i'm not going through all this to get to settlement so as you can see it gets here breaks a little bit pulls up we have some hd i mean it's just too bad this is settlement here because if this was an lre with hd turned into a crash red absorption x here i mean this looks beautiful but settlements there <laughs> we do have a couple clusters here where it bounced off the wall settlement so right at this point i mean it could literally go chances are it's going to run down but it could literally go anywhere at this point so i'm waiting okay i'm just waiting 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 now what's important is you see all these clusters you're going to see at the end of the trade why this is very significant and you can't tell here, but you'll see on the 30 tick chart when I show you. Okay, so now it's doing a little chopping here, okay? Now it's going down. Okay, we're waiting. Now as you can see, there's no breakout. It already broke out. There's nothing there, but now it's broke out. Now it's trying to do a nice little trend down. Again, we have a bounce, a lot of HD, hitting settlement. Maybe it'll want to go test this this crash here. I don't know. So now waiting. Okay. Came back down. Now it's still trending down, right? So this is good. If this continues to trend down and pull back up to somewhere around this area, I'd be looking to take a short if it gives me something good. You got to remember settlements there, but it already, you know, chopped around it, tested it here, came back up, tested it here. Now it's coming down. I feel pretty confident it's going to continue down. Even if it pulls back, I don't think it's going to run up. The only thing I can think that may be reason why it would come back up to settlement is if it wants to go and test this crash. Because that's a pretty looking crash there. So it's pulling up, pulling up, pulling up. And here's about the area where I told you I wouldn't mind taking a short from. Okay. I would prefer HD. I always like HD on my trades. But let's see. Let's fast forward a little bit. So it came back up a little bit. And now it came back down. We do have ODD. We do have this nice 16, uh, 600 level here. Right? So when it gets close to a... We call this a psychological level. Six double zero or triple zero level. And most times it'll come and try to get that level. It'll try to get that. It's pretty close here though. And it gave ODD. This very well could be the bottom. But it's pulling back. Okay. Now if it leaves a mini magnet on this wall, that's really strong. Mini magnets pushing off of a wall is very strong. Okay. But it goes up above the wall a little bit. No HD still. Looking like it wants to lay a paw. It's building up some volume there, some contracts. And the reason why I'm not fast forwarding anymore because I'm about to take a trade. <laughs> this is where my entry uh, is about to come in. So it's building up, it's building up, it's building up. It's getting close to HD. Remember, 125% or more is HD. So there's something I'm looking at on the 30 tick, as I mentioned a minute ago, that, that I really liked because I noticed what happens in the market a lot. Okay, now we're in HD territory, okay? Now for HD, this 
should not go higher than this last pullback. It's technically not HD. It, if it was down here, it would be HD still, but it did pull up higher, but there's a reason why I pulled up higher and I'll show you again. Just give me a minute. I'll, the 30 tick chart will come up here in a second. <laughs> okay. Pulling up, pulling up, pulling up. And bam, I'm in to go short. Now you might be asking, why did I get in here? Well, first of all, this is where the LRE entry is on the simplicity chart. Second of all, I see something on the 30 tick chart that told me to get in right here. Okay. Yes, there is a risk because we're close to this wall that and settlement that it might want to go back up and get that. But I'll show you why I was pretty confident in this one. So, and okay, let me mention too, you might notice over here, 1525. So I've been for a little while now because I've trade pre-market my after when the market's open, I have my ATM for my daily money management is about a two to one. Uh, my trade is two to one. I go for 40 ticks on the NQ with 20 tick stop. Pre-market, I've never had more than a one to one ratio. So I've been testing this and it's been working really good. Having a 15 tick stop and a 25 tick target. That way, if you get a loser and a winner, you're still profitable. Okay. And on the day, if you get two losers, the next day you get two winners, you're back to profit. It doesn't take more than a day to recover from a bad day, if that makes sense. I'll go into that another time, but I just wanted to note that. Okay. So I'm in the trade. And as you know, with my trade management, once price gets really close, about three quarters of the way or more to my target, I move to break even plus a few ticks to cover commission. So there I go. I move to break even to protect my position. Bam, it hits my target, 25 ticks. And this actually runs down to this ZOI. I could have put my target there, but you know, we have these double clusters. I didn't want to push it. So, okay, so I'm about to pull up the simplicity chart. In just a second. Look, it might leave a magnet on this wall. I'm telling you, when it leaves a magnet on top of a wall, that is strong. Yeah, the magnet went away. Let's see here. It's 30. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm about to pull up the simplicity chart now. One second, it's coming. Just don't want to miss it. There it is. Oop. Okay, there's the simplicity chart, as you can see, as I mentioned. See, we had an early entry short up here, right there, but I'm not going to take that short. Ah, we're so close to settlement, you know? Then you could have taken it after... It broke under settlement and just got out of the wall here. See, so it pulled back here, but that was that first one that I was like, ah, I'm not going to take it off of settlement, you know. Then this second one came down, pulled up, LRE there, down to the wall, okay. Now I'm about to pull up the 30 tick chart, and you'll see, I'll show you what I saw. Okay, so... We were coming down, right? This is that area. Remember all those clusters I said pay attention to? Well, here's all those clusters. They turned into a double cluster on the 30 tick. What I've noticed, when you have a run like this, and you have double clusters on the 30 tick, and it comes down, it likes to go and test clusters. When you have double clusters, or a cluster of clusters, 
<laughs> um, it likes to go test them. So look what happened at that LRE. This is what really told me to, to get in because it came up exactly to where those double clusters are. And I got in. So it came up, tested them, and bounced. Because these clusters, it means there was a fight going on here, right? So if there's a fight, but it continued short, that means that fight, the short sellers won, right? So when it bounced and came back up here, that means there's a bunch of orders here, but the sellers won. There was more sellers. So when it comes back up and bounces, it's probably going to bounce and go back short. Not only was that there, but it was an LRE short too, right? Plus we had the 600 level right below. So I'm like, okay, I have a lot of confirmations telling me this is probably going to bounce here and go down. Okay. So, and that's exactly what happened. And what I said was I could have came down lower to that ZOI, but there was clusters to the left. Well, look over here on the 30 tick chart. Those were double clusters there too. So it came back up and tested this, came back down, and I didn't want to go further than those double clusters because see if I go over, that's right where those double clusters were, okay? So that was why I took this trade. And that was my only trade. That was it for the day. So it broke through, kept going, um, but I didn't get another LRE that I liked. So you hit this level. Left a beautiful crash here with a mini magnet on the wall on ice. Who strong, strong right there. Nice. But then it was about time for me to, to end my trading day. Uh, I usually end around 9, 15, 9, 20 in the morning. And that was it. So that was my review for the day. And yep. So hope this helps somebody and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.